posted a video on a book on multivariable calculus, and a lot of people wanted to know what is a good book that treats multivariable calculus but has proofs, and this is a book that does that. It's called Functions of Several Variables, and it was written by Wendell H. Fleming. This is considered a classic book. It is a beautiful, beautiful copy, and in my opinion, this is a collector's item. I don't know if this has been reprinted. Um, I'll try to look for it once I post this video and leave a link in the description. I can find any copies. This book was written by Wendell Fleming. He was a professor at Brown University. Let's open it up and take a look at what this book contains. So a really clean book. It's got a really nice layout. It's just your typical clean math book layout. Functions of several variables, Wendell H. Fleming, Brown University. Brown is an Ivy League school, an extremely good school for mathematics. So Wendell was a professor there. And he even dedicates the book to Brown. Let me show you that. To Brown University on the occasion of its bicentennial, 1764 to 1964. Wow. It's an old school. Literally, it's an old school. <laughs> so copyright 1965. I believe this is the first printing. My copy is in really, really good condition. I've read small portions of this book. I've done a few of the exercises. Um, I try to be really, really careful with this copy. Here's the preface. The preface talks about who the book is for and what you need to know in order to read this book. So basically, in order to read this book, in my opinion, you should know some calculus, calc 1, calc 2, calc 3, and you should know how to write proofs. This book is intended to be used for a one semester course at the undergraduate level for math majors. So like your fourth year as a math major in the US, you know, maybe you could take a course with this book or a full year, right? two semesters, you know, a full year of mathematics at a more leisurely pace. It's a very rigorous book, but it's a very well written book and it has a lot of knowledge. It also has answers to some of the exercises and it has content that you won't find in other books of this sort. Let's take a close look at the contents very carefully. It starts with Euclidean spaces and convexity. So Euclidean e to the n, sets and functions, linear functions, convex sets, convex and concave functions, and non-Euclidean norms. Differentiation of real valued functions. So directional and partial derivatives, that's something that you would have seen if you took a Calculus 3 course. Differentiable functions, functions of class CQ, convex and concave functions, relative extrema, and differential one forms. Well, already you're seeing some stuff here that you may have never heard of. So this book will contain content that other books that treat multivariable calculus don't have. So you get extra content in a book like this. Also, it's a really well-written book. Not an easy book, but it's a well-written book. Vector-valued functions of one variable, so derivatives, curves, and en, and line integrals and the gradient method. And then vector-valued functions of several variables, so transformations, linear and defined transformations, differentiable transformations, composition, the inverse function theorem, the implicit function theorem, manifolds, and the multiplier rule. And then some integration, so tons of knowledge in this book carefully turn the page here this book i didn't it wasn't super cheap i paid quite a bit for this book i i, I know i paid i think i paid over 30 dollars for this copy uh, someone recommended this book to me a long time ago in the comments I've had this book for a while a long time but i've just never talked about it contents here we go integrals over bounded sets it, iterated integrals the unbounded case more topics there Exterior algebra and differential calculus. So this is stuff, here's, here you're getting into stuff that you might not find in other advanced calculus books. And integration on manifolds. And then you have um, some appendices, and then you have answers to selected problems. Let's jump to the answers right away so you can see what he means by answers. So it's, it's very minimal. It reminds me kind of of like the Fitzpatrick book or the book by Buck in terms of how many answers you get. You just, you just don't get that much, right? But the fact that you're getting anything in a book at this level, I think is good. Uh, a lot of books written at this level don't have answers. And again, my feeling is that the professors want you to think 
and they want you to work it out. Plus, they like to assign the homework, the exercises as homework questions, so you have to figure them out. So that's probably why um, these books don't have answers. But you can see there, there's some some of the answers in the back of the book. Pretty cool. Let's go to the beginning so you can see how it reads. Um, it starts off from the very, very beginning, like just very, very basic, and it quickly jumps into the proof. So it is a, a you know a proof based mathematics book, right? Yeah, very nice. Oh, I could smell. I have to smell it. I'm sorry. I turned the page, and it the the smell rose from the book, and I'm pretty far away, but I just got to give it a whiff here. Just oh, it smells so good. What a wonderful book. It smells like mathematics. So let's go to the very first page, the very beginning, and look at some of the basic stuff, and then we'll look at some of the more advanced stuff later in the video. I'll jump to like the end, so you can see some of the. Uh, crazy math uh, that this book contains. It really has a lot of stuff in it. So it starts with Euclidean UN. Euclidean N space. And here it talks about scalars and vectors. So here it defines the sum. So if you have X and Y, you can look at the sum X plus Y. So you just add the corresponding components. Really basic, right? This is really basic. If If you know um, you know, if you've seen this before, you're probably thinking, oh, this is really easy. X is an EN and C is a scalar, then that's the scalar product. And then the zero element, that's the vector whose entries are all zeros. So with these definitions, EN, E to the N, satisfies the axioms for a vector space, which is referenced in an appendix. So what's a vector space? Well, I guess they want you to know linear algebra too. So again, advanced undergraduate, you know, you're, you're, you're taking a course on this. Uh, you know, your last semester, and I haven't talked about this book, and I, I don't know why, but thanks to the person or persons who requested uh, this video, several people were asking, hey, what's what's a multivariable calc book that's proof-based? This is it. This is a classic. This is probably uh, one of the best, if not the best, book devoted to the subject. Here's something you might have seen if you know some analysis. Here it gives you the Euclidean norm. And uh, it gives you Cauchy's inequality and the triangle inequality. And here he proves both. So first he proves uh, Cauchy's inequality. He goes to the proof here. I've seen this proof before. And then on the second, on the next page, Wendell goes through and um, proves the triangle inequality. Pretty cool. Uh, and let's look at some of the exercises so you can see what those are like. So. Yeah, this is the exercise set for the very first section. And again, it would be nice if they provided answers. I think that would be a huge help for people. But, um, you know, the author, Wendell, had his reasons, and other authors have their reasons. They always do. So usually it's because, um, you know, they want people to think, and they want to assign them as homework questions. So, yeah. So pretty pretty standard problems here. You know, some easy ones, some harder ones. There's a mix. Nothing crazy. Talks about sets and functions now. So neighborhoods. So if you had some topology, it's helpful because a lot of this stuff will seem familiar. Talking about, you know, closed sets and things like that. Open spherical end balls. Things you might have seen if you've studied some topology. Linear functions. Let L be a real valued function whose domain is e to the n. The function L is linear if... So this is something that you may have seen if you've studied linear algebra. So it's something you would see there. Yeah, so it has a lot of mathematics, and you see the format. It's just a very, you know, clean math book. It's got examples, definitions, uh, proofs. It talks about hyperplanes and half spaces. Interesting hyperplanes. I once did something long ago with hyperplanes and some statistics and some research stuff I did long ago. Interesting. Let's jump to the let's jump to the end here. So you can see some of the crazy math that you've probably never seen before. I mean, look at all that, right? So this is stuff that you won't find in most other advanced calculus books. Like you pick up the book by like let's say Abbott, which is a great book, Understanding Analysis or um the one by Ross, Elementary Analysis. Those books are intended for beginners whereas as this one this is, you know, a multivariable treatment, multivariable analysis. That's what you get here. So, yeah, super cool, super nice book. It's an appendix on compact spaces. This is something you would study in a topology class. 
So he has an appendix on it. There's the Bolzano Weierstrass theorem. Hope I said that right. The other day I was saying um, Gauss incorrectly. It's I think I said it wrong again. Uh, Ghosts. It's ghosts. I believe it's ghosts. I, I, yeah, I'm slipping now. I shouldn't have said anything. It's too late. Someone criticized the way I said Goss. And is is it Goss or it's ghosts? They said it's ghosts. I keep saying Goss. I think Goss is wrong. Yeah. Correct me again if you want. It's fine. I'm okay being corrected. I can take it. Differentiable transformations. Nice. Nice. Anyways, just wanted to show you this book I have. I've had it for a long time. It is a multivariable treatment of analysis, right? Functions of Several Variables by Wendell H. Fleming. It's considered a classic book, um, very well written, uh, very heavy, okay? It's, uh, my, maybe I need to get more sleep or eat more. My hand, I, I feel the weight here. So it's a heavy book. It's really thick and well-made. Like the pages, at least in this old copy, um, the pages themselves are like it's just like super well made it's just like quality you can feel the quality as you touch the book um, they did a really good job uh, the publishers of this book did did a really good work with this so yeah Addison Wesley good work good work for them on this particular book just heavy it's got a lot of weight when I first got this a long time ago I opened it I took it out of the package it came in. I'm like wow this is a heavy book and I felt better because I know I paid at least thirty dollars for this book. It wasn't, it wasn't super inexpensive, and I think it was like the cheapest copy I could find. So it's probably pretty expensive if you try to find it. Uh, I'll try to find it and leave a link in the description. Um, I'll try to look for reprints, and if I can find any original copies or older copies, I'll, I'll leave those as well. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I just wanted to show you one of my books. Until next time, keep doing math.